Welcome back, guys. I hope you liked the episode. Yeah, we hope you had a ton of fun watching it. So now we're going to make this birdhouse. In your kit, you have your sheet of instructions and all of your supplies. I hope you also have your hammers ready. Jonathan? Oh, yeah. <laughs> right here. Don't you worry. I'm just going to take you guys through what we've got. So in our kit, we've got two short pieces of wood. This is for the sides. We have um, three longer pieces. You'll see that one of these is a little bit shorter than the others. This one's gonna be part of the roof. The other one is gonna be part of the roof. And then we have the base. So we can set those guys aside. We have the front and back of our birdhouse, right? We have a little dowel. There's square dowels, little pieces. We have some paint, glue, nails, sandpaper, and our paint brushes. So we don't need to do, we don't need to paint yet. So we can set our paints and our paint brushes aside. Um, we, for our first step is gonna be sanding. So we can also set aside our glue, our hammer, and really, and our little dowels. And they even included some trail mix for us to eat while we're building it. Jonathan, that's, that's the bird seed. Oh, <laughs> that makes sense. But don't, I guess don't. you can make this into hot cereal too, because this is basically what I eat every morning for breakfast. You, you do eat like a little bird. Okay. <laughs> okay, what's our first step? Sanding. You get your sandpaper out. Yeah. I always like to fold my sandpaper into quarters. I just feel like I hold it better and then I just go in circles. So we can just start sanding. Okay, so now it's a race. I want to see how fast you can sand all of these pieces of wood on your mark, get set, go. How are you doing, Jonathan? I'm doing great, son. It's a race, oh my gosh. Why don't they include an electric <laughs> sander in these kits? So, Morgan, how hilarious was Morgan? Just such a firecracker. Like, I feel like Morgan could have been the third co-host of this show. <laughs> Right? <laughs> Let's and get I her in here, so guys. Much from her. <laughs> what did they end up naming their dog? Lucky? It was Biscuit. Biscuit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And it was so good to see Biscuit again. I love Marley's face when he saw Biscuit. He couldn't, or the dog, he didn't have a name yet, but he couldn't believe his eyes. Yeah. And I, rem I remember like, just trying to hold the tears back and just be like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I think we both were, were both trying, we're both welling up, but trying to smile. <laughs> this is such a good moment. <laughs> when Tia and Gary saw that backyard for the first time, I was like, this is why we do this. You know this, but I was a fangirl of Tia and Gary's from the very get go because of the whole, you know, bringing food to their community. And I, I was so excited for them because I was like, these are my people. I love them so much. They're doing the work I like to do. And, and I was go ahead. Oh, go ahead. I was so awkward when I first met them. So I was like, I really like your work, but I, you know, I'm excited, but I can't really talk to you that much because you're the parents. <laughs> Get fan girl on them. That's right. Um, yeah, and you have been doing, you have been leading community gardens and growing your own food and teaching people how to grow their own food for years. So that's why I was so excited about them and them just wanting to share that with their family and their children. And that was just such a good, such a good time, right? We, we had a great week with them. Guys, as you can see, this piece of sandpaper is kaput. So... If you're like me and you need a new one, go ahead and fold it up. How many stacks are you guys at? I've got one, two, three, four pieces of wood sanded. What? Where are you guys? Okay. Well, I have... well you said it was a race, so I'm trying... It is a race and you're winning. Let's just put it that way. You're winning. There's no winners or losers in backyard blowout. Everyone is a winner because it's fun, right? Going outside, being in the backyard, spending time together... That's just good family fun time. So no winners. 
Um, yeah. So you've been you you tell like when did you get interested in gardening? Me? Yeah. When did you start your like gardening career? You know, I don't really even know when I got interested in it, but I do know that I have always wanted to live off the land and grow my own food. But when I was little, my parents, about 10 years old, my parents did, um, well, this is very nerdy of me. So I used to watch the movie, The Secret Garden. And yes. I I had it recited. The musical? Like, no, the, the, the English one. The English like one. Like the British yeah. film, My Secret, The Secret Garden. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, with the yeah. little, yeah, yes. And I, would it's also it a classic every- it's also a classic novel right i ha- i read the book too yes yeah. the yeah. whole what thing was the name? I what was was the name oh god what was it clara was it know. clara no but her cousin's name was colin anywho she discovers this garden one day and it's locked up and it's behind this overgrown ivy wall and you know finds the key anyway plot line whatever I, that movie got me hooked on gardens and I would make little garden budgets and, you know, get the flower catalog from my mom's roses. My mom would get roses delivered. And so I would get the rose catalog and it had other flowers in it as well. And I would just circle all the plants I wanted for this garden. I was going to have one day and I would make budgets of like, okay, I would plant this and they would be this far apart and it would cost this much to have this many whatever these flowers were and I did this for years Jonathan and then finally one day my parents bought me all the plants and bought soil and we planted a garden and I think I was about eight or nine so since then I've been hooked on gardens but yeah what about you how did you get into this and also with the floral I mean Jonathan you made all of these backyards just come to life with all of the decoration. So let's let's just get one thing straight. Sauna as a little girl, playtime for you was making budgets for gardens. And digging in the soil. It's just and, Yeah, but yes. <laughs> your, what was what's your nickname? Nerdvana? What was it? Yeah, yeah, Nerdvana. Uh-huh. Nerdvana. Yeah. 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 Well, here's but- to being a nerd, because I was a nerd. <laughs> My mom was a florist. We had a family flower shop, and I loved doing flowers with my mom and decorating for parties and events and people's homes. And uh, she did a little interior design as well. We did a lot of backyard design. And you know, that's, that's what my growing up was. And I would do makeovers of our backyard. Like every weekend I had a new backyard project. Um, I'd take furniture and I would spray paint it as a very young child. I was spray painting before I was doing algebra, definitely. <laughs> You were spray painting before it was safe for children to spray paint. Yes. And using power <laughs> tools, which wow, I still don't understand why this kit doesn't come with power tools, but we don't need them because we have the power of our muscles. Well, in backyard blowout, we use tons of power tools and oh, it yes. is so fun to see the kids use them for the first time. I mean, remember the self-feed auto screwdriver i mean come on that was the coolest tool i have ever seen a very cool tool so you guys i've got my last piece of wood almost sanded and then we were ready to move on to step two jonathan what's step two step two now using two nails nail the bottom piece to the back piece We find it helps to pre-tap in the nails. Okay, so let's find the bottom piece and the back piece. We need one of these triangle pieces. This is the back piece, because this is the front. And we need the bottom piece, which is a square. So we've got three pieces of tall wood, right? Mm -hmm. One of these is shorter on the side. Mm -hmm. It's a half inch shorter, Uh you see? Yep. It's not that one so it's either of the other two okay so one of the big guys yeah one of the biggest guys okay we got a big guy and we got a triangle guy Mm -hmm. now we want to pre-tap in the nails so we're going to pre-tap in a nail on the lower two corners of the big guy and that's what we're going to do if you've never used a hammer and nail before 
One trick is to hold the nail close to the very bottom and you can kind of press it into the wood, kind of squeeze it into the wood and then just lightly tap it to start it in there. Once it's lightly tapped in, you can move your hand away and give it a firmer tap. And that's how you get your nails started. So now we're going to fit the corners together and we're going to hammer it in. This should hammer in pretty easily because this is really soft wood. So the way we're going to get our nail started is we're going to get that nail until it's just poking out the other side of the wood. You can really go for it. Put the, your wood plank on top of another piece of wood so you don't hammer into your table. It's okay if there's a little bit of wood, pull, if there's nail holes. So now what I'm going to do is I've stacked the bottom piece of wood on two blocks. And I'm just going, you can see how I have the tips of the nails are sticking up. I'm gonna do Jonathan's idea and I'm just going to press the top uh, in. So it just fits in. Well, I'm gonna line it up a little bit better and then I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> but just so it just fits in nicely. Great, oh my gosh. I'm trying to do this. Okay, that should do it. And now I should be able to turn this thing over and hammer it in. And then how are you doing, bud? Doing great. <laughs> it's always hardest getting the first one in. The subsequent ones are much easier. And honestly, this is, part of like trial and error and being experimental. This is the fun of DIYs. They are do it yourself. It's not something you bought. It's something that you made. And so the perfection is in the imperfections. That's right. And what I'm doing is I'm putting the point straight down. I'm balancing it gently, kind of digging it in and holding it tightly. And then I'm going to go from there. So, you know, bird feeders are a really great habitat home for pollinating birds that you want in your garden. And Gary and Tina have such a robust garden that they need tons of pollinators to make all of those flowers transform into food that they can eat. So I am putting my first side on. I am sticking this guy right into there. This year, I turn a reference. I'm sticking this guy right into here and now, I'm just gonna rest that wall on my table, get my nail set. I'm gonna dig my nail in a little bit. And now I'm gonna hold, see how I'm holding the house up and the nail in with my left hand? Yeah. And then I'm just gonna give it a few taps. And you know what? I'm gonna hang this over the edge of my table because I think I'll have more leverage that way. Yes. Oh yeah. Okay guys, we're going to we're going to we're going to cook with gas on this one. I'm going to just rotate it so you can see what I'm doing here. Oh. So I I have the bottom piece or the the pointy piece, guy. Just the pointy guy. And what I'm doing is I'm just going to fit it together and then I'm going to hang it over the edge of the table so I have leverage so I can make some downward um, drive the nail downward and use gravity to help me. Sana, how many episodes did we make? 10. We made 10 super fun filled episodes. Okay. Highlights. Highlights. Mm -hmm. Go. Okay. Um, outdoor kitchen, epic oh. outdoor kitchen. Oh my gosh. A few of them actually. It's true. The tree house in the six tree tree. The six truck tree. Um, obviously, the food forest family. Yes. And then anytime you put a sauna in a backyard, I mean, come on, I'm a little. Come tired. on. <laughs> what about you? What are your, what's your highlight reel? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, you know, I love animals. So, Jill, the chicken, you guys, there, there are some really delightful animals in our show. Um, there's a chicken named Jill. Um, there's a dog that gets a dog stickle course. 
Um, yes. Mm-hmm. Wait, can we just say Jill the chicken? Jonathan is a bit of a chicken whisperer. So <laughs> you'll, you'll, you'll see what I'm saying yeah. when you yeah. watch it. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. And then also there was a lot of really cool wildlife too. I mean, some really beautiful birds. Uh, uh, and then I know plants, I, I like to say plants are people too, like some awesome different plants that we put in things that you chose and found. Um, that was a lot of things that were native to the area. Uh, really, really fun. Uh, really fun the way it all came together. I am having a lot of fun making this birdhouse. I, this is the first time I've made a birdhouse this small. Remember, this kind of reminds me of a mini version of what we made for Jill, doesn't it? Yes, her, her the chicken <laughs> condo. The chicken. Totally. The chicken con- I, I would live in that chicken resort. I mean, it was so fun. So we're doing four nails into each side, basically. So I've got two more to do in the back. And then I'm going to catch up to you, Sana. Wait, I, I, I got a little bit overzealous. I forgot to put the nails in the... So you're not that much farther ahead of me. Did you hear that, guys? We still have a chance to beat Sana. Um, I also really love all of your singing interludes, Jonathan. Ooh! I feel like, I feel like we should teach them the backyard blowout cheer. It just goes one, two, three. Backyard, Backyard blowout. blowout. And then you can go. <laughs> Yay! Um, <laughs> this one's going in really well. Oh, I spoke too soon. Here we go. Here we go. What was really cool to me about the experience was how creative the kids were. Yeah. Like, brilliant ideas the read and also like how kids know what their parents need a lot of the time yeah the kids were so sensitive to their what their family needed and they really appreciated everything that their parents did for them so it was just really beautiful to get to help them make their spaces for their families let's be honest like it's been a rough time People have been stuck inside a lot. So to spend so much time outside in the backyard, I mean, that was great. And a lot of people don't know like what your backyard could really be used for and how much cool stuff you can do in your backyard if you're willing to spend some time to make it. Yeah, it's an outdoor living space. It isn't just the backyard, right? You can transform it. It can have function and fun and beauty. And and that's what I was so excited about what we did with these kids is and we help them make their backyards over for their family and put all of these elements into it so the way this is going to go you've got a big piece and a little piece so take your little piece take your little house and you're going to put the little piece on the little house now you're going to front porch front door back we're going to line it up so that the little piece smushes all the way to the back and so that it stops right there on the top. See what I'm talking about, guys? It's just going to, it's just going to, just like that. Bam, 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 bam. Uh, back to the show for a second. My favorite thing in the world is decorating. And uh, I can't wait to decorate these birdhouses. And I love some of the decor that we did. First of all, how cool were those pillows for the for the family from the episode? How how cool were those pillows we put out for Marley and Morgan and Matt and Maddox? Matt. Um, Morgan said that the pillows were going right into her bedroom. <laughs> Remember that? She better not have put those pillows in her bedroom. They belong in the garden. <laughs> in her garden bedroom. That's right. <laughs> She loved okay. those little fringy pillows. You really did. Okay, Sana, what, what is like a measurement we can use for the nail part? Um, okay, so the, we know that our wood is about a half, it's not about, it's half inch thickness. Mm-hmm. So when you're marking your hole, uh-huh. you, want to, you want to mark it about a quarter inch from the edge so okay. that it'll butts up against your other piece of wood it is right in the middle of that half inch piece okay it was right in here okay you don't want it too close to the edge because it'll split the wood 
You right. want it right in the middle, nestled right in there. What was your favorite DIY of all the DIYs? That's a hard question. Yeah. Um, I'm here to ask the tough questions, Sana. I think I really liked making that wind spinner with <gasps> Jacob. Yeah. Because that one, we got to use a miter saw, which I always love, a good miter saw. Mm. And then I loved how the spiral effect came out. When it rains, the water will just dance right down that spiral. That totally. was my favorite. How about you? What was your favorite? What? I loved the caricatures you painted. And oh, I forgot awesome. about the caricature. Okay. They were so good. <laughs> it wasn't really DIY, but it was that was Jonathan all the way. I was they were so beautiful. Oh, thank you. I think that uh, the, that that the garden. The thing that was so fun about that family is they were all characters. And I think that, uh, no, was, <laughs> thank you. That's a cheer that we made up for the DIY. Yes, there was. <laughs> D, I, was it just DIY? <laughs> yeah. D, I. Give me what? a D, give me an I, give me a Y. What does that spell? D, I, Y. Y. Oh, you know, I just realized we're going to be gluing this, uh, this uh, bird. We're going to be gluing the feeder pieces together. And before you glue something, you want to make sure you got all the dust and all of the sawdust off of it. So got plenty of time to do that while we wait for sauna. <laughs> Jonathan Kidder. <laughs> so appropriate or last name. The thing about glue is... It works really well when you have a porous surface. Like you can see this wood is kind of rough. That's called porous. So we're gonna pour us, we're gonna pour us some glue into that porous surface. All right, I'm getting closer. Well, I saw all my stuff down and I don't know how this happened, but yeah. You have both pieces of your roof on? Oh my God. Honey, I have my perch on. Jonathan, oh my God. You know what it needed was salt. It, it needed salt is all. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the birds know that they can start lining up. It's almost dinner time. Hey guys, what's up little okay. birds? It's almost dinner time. <laughs> We're opening okay. up a new buffet in your neighborhood, birds. The backyard blowout bird seed buffet. Featuring sunflower seeds and- Oh yeah. All right guys, so glue bottle. Remember to cut the tip off of the top there. And then I'm just going to put a little glue. There's a, let's see here. It's a, you know, it's a rectangle. It's not a square. So do, do the fat side, the wide side. A little glue, well, two sides of glue. Yeah, two, two, two will do. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to do another one there and there. So what is your birdhouse, guys? What is the style? What is the vibe? Is this like an epic chill zone for the birds in your neighborhood? Is this like, is this like a bird library? Is this a place where birds go to rest and meditate? Could be a pied de terre. <laughs> what was that? A little pied de terre. Pied de terre. What does pied de terre stand for? It means toe of earth. So it's like you just have a little... Yeah. Your toe just a little bit on the earth. So I guess it would be claw de tear. A claw de tear. <laughs> or this a claw on there. Claw on there because we're going to put yeah. it up in the air. Okay, now I'm going to pretend it's hanging. La, 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 la. Ta-da. Pretty cool. All right. Oh, What's I'm up? I'm pretty sure mine is a birdie disco. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in here. It's like, mm, 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 you know what I mean? Wow, guys, we have come so far. Remember when this was just a pile of wood in a box? Now it is a birdhouse. The fun part is that now we get to paint it and add color and decoration. The building, oh. fun too, but it takes a while, right? So I am going to put all of my building materials away because I don't want them to get paint all over them. If you poured out your nails like I did, go ahead and put them back in the bag. You can always save nails for another DIY project in the future. 
nails are good to have on hand. So definitely, definitely keep these. All right, and so we can throw our instructions away because now we don't need any guides. This is the fun part. <laughs> okay, guys, it's time for color. So feel free to get wild. You don't have to stick with the colors that are here. You can mix them to make new colors. You can mix yellow and red, make orange. You can mix purple, sorry, you can make purple with blue and red. These birdhouses can be as ornate as your imagination goes. I'm taking my box, I'm opening it up. And I'm going to use my box to paint on. That's a good idea, Jonathan. I'm going to do the same thing. Two brushes, a wide brush, the thin brush. So make sure you guys have some paper towels handy and a cup for water for rinsing off your brush. I like to set up my paint like, there we go, right in front of me. You can see the whole rainbow. Okay. So we can use the thick brush for our wide surfaces and the small rounder brush for details. And what I like to do, since this wood is really absorbent and I do mm -hmm. wanna make the whole bird house, my vision is I wanna make the whole bird house really colorful. I am gonna dunk my paper towel in water and give water to this bird house, make it paint a lot faster. Or like a water wash, that's mm -hmm. a good idea. I'm gonna give it a bit of a water wash. And I'm just gonna start on this one side and we'll see what you guys think about it. I have no idea where I'm gonna go with this. I'm just gonna start and see what happens. What color okay. should I do? Okay. okay. I'm gonna be daring and start with the front. <laughs> Ooh, you're going with the front? I'm going with the top. I'm going with the front. I have a vision. Painting really gives you a way to express yourself. Yeah, it shows your individuality and shows your creativity. Anything goes with these. So. We want to see how you guys are going to personalize your birdhouses. There was a rainbow of people who made our show so awesome. So I'm going to make my rainbow. I'm going to make my birdhouse a rainbow birdhouse. And then I think you and I are barking up the same tree because mine's going to be a sunset gradient. Ooh, sunset gradient. Sunset gradient. Sunset fun set. <laughs> So what is your sunset gradient about? What colors are you using? Well, I'm starting with yellow, oh. which I think perhaps may be my favorite color. P.S. guys, the outfits that Sana wears in the different episodes are epic, especially the reveal days. Yes. Especially the reveal moments. And I love the, the flower crown that you helped me make and all the floral in my hair. We did make some yeah. cool hair pieces for you, didn't we? Well, I do love the how colorful the peacock logo is. So Oh yes. That could be something to inspire us. Peacock logo is a rad rainbow. It really is. And we got all the colors of the peacock logo right here. This this paint palette pretty much looks like the peacock logo. Do you see how cute our little aprons are? I love these aprons. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello. Um listen, if you have a face mask that you no longer need. Don't forget to pop the elastic off so that it doesn't get stuck on any creature's feet. Anyway, you can use an old face mask as a sponge to do a little sponge painting. Check it out. It's gonna go a lot faster that way. All right, guys, make sure to put the lids back on your paint tubs when you're done painting and put your brushes in the water and wash those off later. Time for the big reveal. Drum roll, please. Ta-da! Ta oh, I love it! Oh, Sana, that looks great! Thank you. I love that yours looks so iridescent and super disco. I feel like I'd have like a huge bird disco party in there. <laughs> you feeling my peacock vibes too? I am big time. Okay. And you see, I have contrasting yellow oh, trim yeah. all around. I liked, I wanted to keep a lot of the natural wood cause that's more my style. And I then that you did that. bam, sun, sunrise or sunset right up front. 
gorgeous. Yeah. And uh, then you just put the bird seed right in that little trough, guys. Mm -hmm. And you're ready to have your own reality show happening in your backyard when all the birds in the neighborhood come. So make sure you hang this outside your window so you can watch. And refill it often. <laughs> and speaking of watching, definitely check out Backyard Blowout streaming September 16th on Peacock. We hope you love it. The kids, they have these huge imaginations and they transform their backyards. I mean, these backyards are really getting a blowout. So here's how we do it. We put our hands in and on the count yeah. of three, we say backyard blowout. Here we go. One, two, three. Backyard, backyard blowout. blowout. Bye guys. <laughs> Bye, take care.